I'm joined by uh, Doug Holtz-Aiken, the former CBO director, the president of the American Action Forum, and a member of the Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission. Thanks very much, Doug, as always, for the time. My pleasure. Dick Fold, the star witness today. We've seen his testimony. I know you have as well. A defiant Dick Fold. He says Lehman could have been saved, should have been saved, but the government had stepped in as it did for its competitors. Does he make a compelling argument? Um, he makes his case in his written statement. We'll see what he says today. It ought to be fascinating. But we also have the chance to ask both today, Federal Reserve officials, FDIC officials, and tomorrow, the heads of both those agencies, their views on the, the appropriate path forward for Lehman and for many other institutions. What is your own sense? I know you were uh, advising John McCain at the time of the financial crisis, the issue of too big to fail. Should the government have stepped in and helped any of these firms? Uh, I, I think there's always a case made for the government to keep its hands off failing institutions. That's been a hallmark of American commerce from uh, the founding of this country. We've had extraordinary interventions throughout history. And we've also had Congress rein in regulators. We, in, with 1990 Fiducia, again with the most recent bill, constraints on how you can step in. You're seeing the tension between what we'd like to be the way we do business and how it happens in a crisis. There are a lot of people who look at this situation. We've heard Dick Fold testify. He's kept a low profile, but he's testified twice since Lehman's uh, bankruptcy. Some people question why he doesn't take more responsibility for what happened at Lehman. Again, you've seen his testimony. Your initial take on that? Uh, we're going to find out. I think one of the, the real insights we've gotten out of this series of hearings is in institution after institution, we saw dramatic failures of risk management. If you go back to the AIG uh, panel, uh, sort of a complete absence of recognition of their own liquidity exposure. So we get to ask the same questions of uh, Dick Fold that we asked the Bear Stearns, the AIGs. What went on inside Lehman? What is the question you want to ask Dick Fold most? Uh, the question I want to ask Dick Fold most is, did you expect the government help all along? Uh, market expectations frame everything, and we've got the chance to ask him, his counterparties, and the regulators all their views of what would and would not have happened had uh, Lehman gotten help or not gotten help. That, in the end, is the question we have to ask ourselves. At first blush, does it look arbitrary to you, as some critics have suggested, that uh, AIG got help, Lehman didn't? Uh, we had Bear Stearns, of course, the assistance provided there. Did that open the floodgates? Uh, we need to find out. One of the things you have to ask a Federal Reserve, one of the things you have to ask an FDIC is, when you say they were systemically important, we had to step in. What were you looking at? What would have happened? And how would you measure it? So there's less arbitrariness and, and some metric for why we gave them taxpayer money. We need to know that. You're an economist. What's your own sense? If Lehman had been helped at that time, would things have been different? Would this financial crisis not have been as severe? Um, I think the, the important question is to dial the clock back to Bear Stearns and ask, had we not intervened with Bear, could we then have not intervened with Lehman and, and gone down that path? We'll never know. Having helped Bear Stearns to not help Lehman, the unevenness of that treatment, I think, sent markets really um, into a panic. Now, he's one of several witnesses today. You've got, again, the, the Fed chairman, FDIC chair tomorrow uh, in their testimony. Who are the other witnesses you're most interested in talking to today? I know Robert Steele, the former undersecretary of the Treasury, CEO of Wachovia for a time. He's also testifying. Is he on your list? Uh, he's on my list because he carries two roles. We do get to ask him about Wachovia, an, an institution that, that got some help. Uh, but we also get to ask him as, you know, Deputy Secretary of the Treasury, how were you thinking about Treasury interventions? How do you think about the issue of too big to fail? All right. And what about Fed, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke? Again, he's going to testify tomorrow. You have tough questions for him? Uh, we have lots of questions for Mr. Bernanke. I mean, the, the Lehman episode is simply one instance of the Fed deciding not to help, and in other cases they did decide to help. And we, to this day, do not know how they made those decisions. I think it's time to get a better account of that. All right, let me just ask you finally about the FCIC, the process overall. These are the last big public hearings here in Washington. You still have some field hearings left there. Some people question, has this all been worthwhile? At the end of the day, Congress already moved on, written legislation. Are you all going to deliver on December 15th the kind of report that, that you'll be proud of, that the country's going to be proud of? I, I expect to deliver a report we're proud of, but more than that, we will deliver to the American people all of the materials we've gathered, both in the public hearings and in the private uh, memoranda that we've gotten from officials, the questions they've answered for us, the documents that we've requested from them, there will be an archive that the public can use and decide for themselves what caused the financial crisis. Is the commission uh, in going to have unanimity on this? Uh, the commission... Uh, is, is like any group of 10 people with strong views. We don't agree on everything. Uh, our job between now and December is to find out what we can write down as a consensus report. Doug Holsaken, as always, we appreciate it. Thanks sure. very much. Dear